Okay, here we go, putting in a new pivot table process to get cross tabs. First, I've got to go off and get the data. To do that, I go down to Okay, there I am. I'm going to go open my data set and that will get me to um, looking for my data diskette that came with the book and I have that in my CD-ROM, so double click on that. I want to go to data, double click on that, go down to the chapter, chapter 2. I've asked for the NFL data, so scroll down, look for the NFL data, double click, bingo! Here it is. Now. Let's just go ahead and highlight all of this data because we're going to use it in the cross tabs, even though we'll only use a couple of variables of it. Now, go up there to insert and then to pivot table. Tell it to go ahead and put it in a new spreadsheet and click OK. Here we are at pivot table. Now, if you go over there to the right, you get to pick which variables you put for rows and columns. OK, so we're going to use rows and columns as indicated then the names are going to be the value count. Now if you right click on that count value down there and the value field settings, you can either use count, sum, all kinds of other goodies. Um, so there's sum, so you can see what it does. Um, but we're going to use count, so just double click on that and OK. Then we come up here to the table. It's too spread out, so we're going to uh, get the labels more condensed by clicking on any one of the labels and then going down to grouping. And then from grouping we get to pick one, two, whatever. Leave the start and stop the same. But I group down at one, set OK. There's my table. OK, so let's just uh, give it a name there at question A. Question B would be for, uh, say, the frequency of a particular outcome. So let's go look at that calculating that. That's going to be equal to the offensive tackles, now I guess I used wide receivers, divided by the grand total. Hit enter, and there's the percentage. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, well, there it is.